Hi everyone, here we're going through the steps that's involved in drawing, drawing an oblique, trimetric and isometric uh, view uh, of, in this case, a, uh, a joint you would typically find in joinery, uh, which is shown here now um, as, an, as, an, as an orthographic view um, of a joint, uh, <clears throat> which might be between the door style and a, a, a lock rail of a door, for instance. And uh, stemming from that view, you can see there we've uh, the blue um, rectangle, which uh, represents the overall sizes uh, that you've seen in the elevation. And then on the end view, we've taken um, the other size there and um, drawn the, what's at the end of what's basically a 3D box. And that angle of, uh, on that end there was uh, 45 degrees, as was animated there. And we're just animating in the measurements there of this box, as, as we shall we say. Um, so there's the overall me measurements of the box, which is the overall measurements of the object that we are drawing. So the point I'm making here is in a case like this, just um, take the uh, sectional views um, uh, of each piece and um, uh, plant them on the um, end of the box and the top of the box in this case and the bottom. And then as illustrated here, uh, pull those lines in from those profiles and in this case, you have what's basically an oblique profile that's taken from the orthographic drawn. And um, so uh, here you'll see the lines are pulled from those oblique profiles. And then uh, you can finish it off there, the line animated there on the bottom. Uh, you can leave the other lines that are faint in the background. Uh, and uh, of course, you need a hard lead pencil for drawing this. Uh, so you'll have a thin, dark line. And the ingrain can be hatched in then using a softer lid. And don't forget then to put in the title. The title is usually five mil high. So draw in two very faint guidelines, as you'll see animated here now. And then when you print in the title of that uh, view, and make sure that you're uh, touching those guidelines with your print, as is illustrated here now. And uh, this view, in this case, so is your oblique view. And You'll then put in the dimensions as shown here. So show your extension lines off the object. Keep the arrow tips as small as possible. That will automatically lead to a neater looking drawn. And make sure those arrow tips are touching the extension lines. And the height of the text on that dimension line, by the way, is about half that as what was on the title. So they'd be about two and a half, three mil high. The next drawn is just another example of another type of 3D drawn, we'll call it. It's called a trimetric drawn. And again, it's you're taking the overall front measurements like the front of a corn flake box if you want to use that as an example and uh, <clears throat> but uh, the overall size of course is determined by the overall size of the object and that's put in here at 15 degrees and the uh, the edge then is put in at 30 degrees in this case but it could be 40 or 45 degrees or for trimetric and uh, uh, with trimetric the angle uh, here here and here are different so just bear that in mind um, so um, uh, yeah so finish off that box then and uh, uh, cap it off with the top piece going in there and uh, uh, then again plant your profiles uh, that you've got from there onto there and the same with the top profile here and again you'll have uh, profiles to pull the lines from you know so and you'll see that illustrated here as we've already discussed with the first example and the first lines to pull is the lines that's on the face of the nearest face of that giant if you notice them are the first lines we pulled there because they will form a giant line in this case between the vertical member and the horizontal member and then you go back deeper into the giant then as animated there and draw in the rest of those lines um, are, has been uh, drawn there now as we speak and they will provide the junctions you might have to let them cross each other first a uh, faint version of the lines but then you can strengthen them in then later on with the darker pencil and uh, so the, the the next view then the last view is the isometric version again you're going to draw on a 3d box as it were uh, but the the bottom uh, uh, the angles on this box will be 30 degrees and 30 degrees go the opposite way as is shown there and again that box represents the overall size of the object and again you're taking the profile from the orthographic view there and planting it onto the edge of that 3d box as it were and the same on top 
and as before you're, go you're then going to be pulling the lines on the nearest surface first and they form a joint line between the horizontal member again and the vertical member and as before just pull the lines in both directions keep them faint for initially if you like until you find out where the junctions are and then just strengthen them in and uh, then after that then uh, you're going to have to uh, again like before put in your two guidelines to print in the title of that view don't forget the hatching there's your hatching there that's important and uh, 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 put in a sh um, you know series of curves as illustrated there and again put in your dimension lines and uh, that that gives you a good idea of the three different types of um, views uh, that you might have to draw your approach to it just to give you an idea that as as you can see there the approach starts as, as already said by drawing in those profiles or sectional views but uh, just remember um, you can pull the lines in once you have those sectional views uh, drawn and so we've gone through them there there's the three of them the three views that we've drawn and um, hopefully um, that will help uh, simplify your approach to producing uh, either uh, an oblique trimetric or isometric view of uh, in this case a, a joint that you might find in a joinery um, a class or a, a whatever type of drawing you, whatever type of class you might be drawn for hopefully to be of use to you guys all right